Before you buy your home, you've got to do some research, get rid of the noise, and find your neighborhood. And to really save some money when moving to Phoenix, check out my free moving kit. Link in the description. But first, before we go there, I want to see if you identify with my story, my California Phoenix experience. And stick around to the end, and I'm going to show you just how much house you can get for that very same rent payment that you're making in Orange County, California. There's no doubt in my mind that you'll be amazed. So it was in the late 1980s when my brother Michael convinced myself and my brother Kevin to move to California. It wasn't very difficult to do. We were all single. We had all heard about the awesome California lifestyle. So within about two seconds, we packed up and moved to California. We moved to Huntington Beach. And while we were there, we figured we don't want to be inland. We don't want it to be anything like Arizona. We want to experience the beach. So we always rented something within a few blocks of the beach. And sometimes we even had a place right on PCH, directly across from the beach. Sounds good, right? Here's what happened. We worked a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. We wanted to work a lot. We were young contractors, and we wanted to be as busy as we possibly could be, but we also wanted to have some downtime to enjoy the beach, go on dates, and just enjoy life. But what happened was rent was so expensive that we just worked all the time. I remember one time we even were installing a floor on Christmas Eve. Yeah. So after about a year and a half of this, the light went off and I just realized there was no way I was going to get ahead in California. So I talked to my brothers and I let them know I'm moving back to Arizona. I'm moving back to Phoenix. So I did that. I bought a house in the historic district of Coronado, the Coronado Historic District in Phoenix. And that house is a two bedroom, one bath, and it has a detached garage. And it also had a detached studio that I could rent out to cover some of the rent. Now, had I stayed in California, I don't know what would have happened, but I do know this for sure. It would have taken me a lot longer to get where I'm at today. And I would have been a renter for a lot more years had I stayed in California. So I'm really glad I made the move. Now, what I want to do is take you over to one of my favorite websites. It's called Nerd Wallet, And what it allows me to do is compare the cost of living in one city versus the other. So let me pull that up for us right now. Okay, so here we are on Nerd Wallet's website. And as you can see, it says I currently live in Orange County and I want to move to Phoenix. It says that you make $125,000 a year. I just plugged that number in. You might make more, you might make less, but this is the household income in this calculator. And it tells us that you can live the same lifestyle in Arizona for about $82,000. Big difference, right? So now let's drill down into the calculator and take a look at the details for housing because I'm pretty sure a person making $125,000 couldn't afford much of a house in Huntington Beach or Newport or Long Beach or anything like that. If you're looking for a three bedroom, two bath house, the normal house in, Cal in Orange County is gonna run you $979,000. And if you wanna rent a two bedroom apartment in Orange County, the average is gonna be about twenty-four dollars or $2,349 per month. Now in Phoenix, that same rental is gonna run you about $1,500. And according to NerdWallet, they say that your median price home here in Phoenix, get this, $346,000. Now some platforms have the number even lower than that, but we're just gonna go with $346,000. So, so if you wanna live in Orange County, it's gonna cost you north of a half a million additional dollars for the very same house. And you can see that all the other categories that are used in the NerdWallet calculator are more expensive in California. Transportation is 23% higher. Food costs are 13% higher. Entertainment is 17% higher. And healthcare is almost 20% higher at 19%. Now, I wanna do something really exciting for you. I wanna show you what kind of house you could get here in Phoenix if you took that rent, that rent money that you're paying in Orange County that roughly $2,400 you're paying per month and see what kind of house you could expect to get here in Phoenix. So let's jump on my website. I've already picked out a house that I think is pretty attractive. Let's check it out. All right, looks great from the outside. What about the details of the house? It's got a, it's got a beautiful pool. It's a five bedroom, 
three and a half bath. It is 3,928 square feet and it's really a good looking house. Let's check out a couple of the pictures. <clears throat> you can see it's got a nicely finished interior, new floors, freshly painted, really good looking rooms. It looks like a dollhouse. I mean, this thing looks like a little show house. Really a nice looking place. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do is take a look at the calculator for purchasing this house. So I'm presuming 5% down. You could put more if you wanted, but we're going to say 5% down, but we're going to say an interest rate of 4% on a 30 year mortgage. That's going to cost you $2,253 per month. Now it doesn't include taxes and insurance, but I already figured that if you added taxes and insurance to this, you're going to be adding about $350 to $400 a month. So you're going to be right around $2,600 a month to own this 4,000 square foot, five bedroom house with a pool in Phoenix. And if you've been living in Southern California all your life and you have not checked out housing costs in Phoenix, then this might be shocking to you, but this is the norm over here. Now you can see on this little graph that I pulled up from the Census Bureau, it shows that in 2019, Arizona grew by 120,000 people and the lion's share of those people moved here to Phoenix. So that's about 10,000 people per month. Think about that, that's a big fat number. So that goes to show you people are coming to Phoenix. It's because California has become completely unaffordable. Now, I'll give it to you that if you bought your first house in Southern California 35, 40 years ago and you paid less than a hundred grand, well, you were just plain lucky to be there at that time and be able to parlay that money into your current home. But for those of you who are working, even those of you who have darn good jobs, Making a payment on a million dollar house is just crazy. Now, if you're still on the fence or maybe live in a different city in California or another city in the US, check out my playlist about cost of living in Phoenix in various cities across the US. I'll see you there.